Hey guys, Rivers here from Tech Connect, and today I'm actually on the road. I got a new job as a field service engineer, so I haven't been able to make as many videos lately, but I've been wanting to do a video since I have lots of time in this hotel room. And today I want to show you about the gear I use to make a travel video and have decent quality on it. So first of all, I'm shooting on my iPhone 10. Uh, it's got really good video quality. It's really versatile. The stabilization is awesome. Now the other key is actually getting good audio. And for that, I actually have a little lav mic. And this guy is so cheap. I think it's less than $20. Plus it has an extension cord. So I can go anywhere from a couple feet from the phone to like 15 feet away from the phone. And it's gonna sound like you're right next to the phone. So that is the other key to having a good video on travel is get good audio. Uh, from there, I've actually got the iPhone to headphone jack adapter because that's what you have to use for the iPhone. If you have a phone with a headphone jack, you can just go straight into the microphone port on the phone. Uh, and then I also am using one of those spring-loaded clips. This one's actually from Manfrotto. And it goes into the top of what I'm using for a tripod for a 360 camera. I'm actually using on the iPhone. And so this tripod actually works out perfect for travel. It's from my 360 camera, but it has a variable height of anywhere from like the floor to like waist high. So you should be able to get a good shot no matter where you are. And the main important thing is that it's really easy to travel. It folds up teeny, it weighs almost nothing. You can easily throw it into a backpack or a suitcase. Another tip is to tidy up everything before you start shooting the video and make sure that where you shoot is lighted properly. That is a really big key. So for this, I've got lamps on next to me. I've got a window behind the camera that's kind of lighting the whole room. I tidied up the back area there so it looks nice and clean in the back of the camera. And I added some decorations. I got these little guys for my kids, but I thought they'd look kind of cool in the video, so I put them right there. So again, just tidy up and make sure the background looks good. So now it's time to edit the footage. And I did it entirely on mobile devices, so I shot it on the iPhone 10 and I edited it on the iPad Pro here. And I, all I did is airdrop the files over to the iPad, which worked really well, doesn't even need a network to do it. And then I'm editing in an app here called LumaFusion. And this is the best video editing app for any mobile device that I've ever seen. It's so awesome. It's basically like a stripped down version of Adobe Premiere, but it can do a lot of things. I mean, you can, it has transitions, you can layer over the top, you can edit the audio, you can add keyframes. It's $20 and it's so worth it. It's not that complicated, especially if you've ever used anything like Adobe Premiere or a Video Studio or something like that. Anyways, I'll have a link to LumaFusion in the description. I'm not getting paid anything to suggest it. It's just such a good app that I thought I would mention it. So that's all you need. Really a decent phone made in probably the last two years, the lav cable, the clip for the phone, and a tripod. And I'll have links to all of those down in the video description down below. All right, thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.